Hi, and welcome to WEH Videos. My name is Skip, and today I want to talk about getting around the airport. How do we use the taxiways? What do we expect when we land? So we're coming into San Carlos, my favorite little airport, and I have told the tower that I want to go over to the terminal and pick up some passengers. So now I'm going to land here at San Carlos, and they're going to give me instructions on how to get to the terminal. So let's get this bad boy on the ground here and then we'll see what we might expect from the tower after we land. So we're landing and now the tower is going to say Cessna 84 Delta Lima exit Delta and let's just take a look and see what that means. So before we even started our flight we would have looked at the airport diagram for the airport we were flying to. So here is a diagram of San Carlos Airport. And we would have looked at this and we would have known what all this means. Here's runway 30. We just landed. And all these letters are actually just that letters, but we have an alphabet. We have an aviation alphabet. So it's Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, and so on. So when the tower says exit Delta, then we know we need to exit right here. We know we're going to the terminal. So I might get an instruction from the controller saying, Skyhawk, November 84 Delta Lima, exit Delta, taxi via Lima, Charlie, Mike. So we would exit here at Delta, we would go down Lima, we would turn on Charlie, and then we'd be in Mike, and we would follow the lines here that would take us over to parking at the terminal. And it's really that simple. So where can you get more information on this? I suggest that you go to airnav.com and here you can find airports. You just type in the airport name or San Carlos K S Q L and go. And here you will find all the information you need. You have here an aerial photo of the airport. You can get the sectional chart. And right here we have the airport diagram and it says download PDF. And down here we have runway information. And one thing you really should get is the traffic pattern. Here it says traffic pattern left for one way one two and traffic pattern is a right pattern for runway three zero. It's nice to know these things. It'll make your simulator flying more fun if you actually fly patterns. You can come down farther and you can get your approach plates. So this is a great website for getting the information of almost any airport in the United States that you want to fly. The other thing that I think might really help is if you get the pilot handbook for aeronautical knowledge you do a search on that and you're going to find it right here at www.faa.gov and if you just look at this it's going to give you all kinds of information chapter 13 airport operations you can download this and it gives you everything you need to know about airport operations. So I suggest that you download this and read through some of this. You will get a wealth of information right here on the cover here. It talks about traffic patterns and what you need to do when you're landing at uncontrolled airports. So instead of just flying to an airport, lining up on the runway, and coming in for a landing, you can actually do the proper approach. You can enter a downwind, turn base, turn final. You will find that your simulator flying will be a lot more fun when it's more realistic. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this, please click the like button. If you would like to leave a comment, that would be great. Thank you again so much for watching, and God bless.